here in Artesia, New Mexico. And we've got <clears throat> some motive power SW. I'm going to guess this is for Southwestern Railroad. Railway, something like that. I don't know for sure. That's a good guess. It's an old SP, SD45. I don't recall. This outfit may have an association with that bunch up in Kansas that we um, photographed a couple years ago on the old Santa Fe up there. You have a refinery right across the street here from the little yard in Artesia. The whole area smells heavily of petroleum. And there we have it. SW, I'm guessing Southwestern 3126, an old SP SD45, now on a branch line short line. Just north of Lake Arthur, New Mexico.
Oil tankers in frac sand, Southwestern Railroad, just north of Lake Arthur, New Mexico. Lakewood, New Mexico, on the Southwestern Railroad. Uh, pretty much middle of nowhere, a little bitty town here, nothing going on. Looks like we got a frac sand train here, shut down, tied down. I guess this is a siding, or spur or something. I wanted to walk down here and look at this uh, locomotive. It looks fairly new to be in service like this. 3902. Shot of this guy. Yeah, watch out what the hell I'm doing out here. I'll back up on top of the darn snake. All right. Well, it is fairly new. This is old Santa Fe country. Um, I believe the line runs, uh, it intersects the Santa Fe main, BNSF now in Clovis. Goes from Clovis Portales, Roswell Artesia, Carlsbad, and honestly, I don't know how far south of there it goes. It may even reach into Texas by a little bit. But definitely a sand train. Back on this guy, 3902. Another shot here. Set it about 50 millimeters. Don't have many options here because we're tied in. Get one in front of the pair of the train. Go through the little town over there. There's pretty much nothing going on. Yeah, walk back along an ET44 C4. I haven't kept up with the designations, so I don't really know what that means. 4,400 horsepower, more than likely. C4 that might might mean one of the axles is actually a kind of a dummy axle, and I think that's exactly what it is because it looks like there's a big open gap in that middle axle there where you would expect to see a traction motor so i guess this is one of these i think c stands for convertible which it's currently a four axle now and i guess that means they can convert it up to six later as you can see yeah, that might be easier to see here yeah there's no traction motor on that center axle either let's compare it to this so the job. And yeah, you see the uh, gear there hanging down on, on that center traction motor. So all right, dead. Can't really complain with the old southwestern here. Saw one train moving, locomotive parked in Artesia, and I kind of expect to see something in Carlsbad. Looks like there's a little bit of a yard there, so there may be uh, some motive power, maybe even a little bit of a shop. All right, Carlsbad's next. We have the depot in Carlsbad. We are at the end, <laughs> I'm to figure out which direction this is, uh, but it's the end away from town of the Southwestern Railroad's yard in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Um, this is not the downtown yard, obviously, which I would guess is the old, uh, old, old Santa Fe yard. Uh, this yard's out. Um, in a big open kind of agricultural area. It uh, looks to me like it is mainly for the potash business. Uh, research has turned up uh, several different potash mines around here. Um, so I suspect all those grain cars are actually uh, potash service cars and similar type cars are up in town. 
I don't see anything that looks uh, agriculture based here, so I'm going to guess this is an entire um, potash uh, business. Uh, support yard, obviously, they can put together long trains here without delaying any traffic. The other uh, yard crosses major thoroughfares, and I suspect it's it's probably not used very often. Uh, definitely not a highly active yard. There would be um, a lot of townsfolk um, squealing. So, was at the other end earlier. Uh, they have a uh, SD50, 60, kind of hard. Um, lose my spotting abilities. I don't follow these roads like I used to. Uh, switching down there, um, sister unit in downtown at the shop. Uh, appeared to be dead next to the shop building. Uh, not a lot going on out here. I saw two uh, cuts of BNSF power. I'm going to guess they're on uh, trains that have come in. Um, I suppose there's some sort of engine facilities at the other end. It's very modest if there is. Uh, 